Real life is with my friends. Ironically enough, and I'm a great appreciator of irony, I met them all through Roger, the lawyer, while he was defending each of them on various and sundry misdemeanors. Mary was arrested at an anti fur demonstration of people for the ethical treatment of animals for public nudity. <laughs> the only thing she was wearing was a sign that read, I'd rather go naked than wear fur. Unfortunately, the police would rather arrest her than let her go naked. Marlene was caught shoplifting. Oh, she really did it just to get her husband's attention. Although, when your husband is an assassin by trade, it's probably safer to be ignored. <laughs> I never really know why Josh got arrested, other than he's <clears throat> gay and fay, and sometimes that's enough. What are those marks on your neck, dear? Oh, they're from the telephone board. Sal tried to strangle me last night. No big deal. What brought that on? Yeah, what did you do? <coughs> Let the linguine boil past out there, too? That's insulting to Italian Americans everywhere. Italian cuisine is hardly limited to pasta. And among pastas alone, there is more. Actually, that is how it started. I, um, burned his mother's fucking meatballs that she sent home with him the last time he walked across the street to visit her. Can't you even nuke meatballs, right, he says, so I said, what do I look like, a fucking chef? And from there, it escalated. What? Rude, dear, rude. Think of a department store escalator. It <laughs> transports up for causes to rise. Mother and I have become like an old lesbian couple, and I apparently am the husband. How do you feel about capital? I say fry the bastards. No, I'm with you. Cut off the balls, fry them, fry them. See, why do you equate testicles with culinary arts? I completely disagree. Murder is murder. Is murder state sanctioned or not? Okay, look like you mean some low life should kill a kid and live. How can you think that? My God told me to. Then your God's full of shit. So, I shot him three times. Surprised the shit out of him. The look at his face, he still looks surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I still say it's self defense. Be serious. She went upstairs, thought about it, came downstairs, and shot him three times. <laughs> That's premeditation. <laughs> should be punished for thinking about it. I'm in a little first. Want me a total psycho maniac who shoot somebody without thinking about it first? I think that if we call the police... No, 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 pops. You've got to call the police. Oh, the fuck I do. I'm inclined to agree with Marlene. The fuck Marlene... <laughs> she does. <laughs> that will only complicate matters. What about justice? Oh, Josh. Dear, dear boy, there is no justice. <laughs> Maybe if we stuff them in Marlene's quicker hamper, it, it might be what Virgo Mortis has it sent in. Good form! Now you're on board. But that's the least of it. Where are we coming? Well, isn't that why God created New Jersey? Oh, wait, I hear the pine barrens are beautiful this time of year. I want Sal to rest someplace nice and peaceful. Maybe near the ocean. Great, Marlene. We'll rent him a condo in Belmont. <laughs> well, how about a river? Would that go? That's a good idea. We can take him to River Drive in Bucks County and drop him off by the canal. By the canal. Everyone loves Bucks County. Sal always likes to go antique, you know? 
do a little bed and breakfast and do a little wine tasting together. Yeah, that's the place. Let's go. I can't believe Lillian parked in the handicap <coughs> space. It's so rude. Well, here after all, our passenger has suffered the ultimate handicap. in the handicapped spot without a sticker. Why don't you call the police, Josh? Apparently, someone already did. Oh. While I was flashing my dimples, I did and tossing my curls and giving him the full benefit of three years of women, do I happen to notice the hamper lying in the handicap space. I must have been staring at staring because Officer Bill said, is that yours? There followed an interminable pause before I nodded weakly. And being the little gentleman he was, as they always are in the beginning, he said, let me get that for you. I had a religious experience. I went over and I picked up that 200 pound hammer all by myself like it was filled with feathers and I threw it into the back of the car and I slammed the hatch down so hard that later the car's inhabitants all swore their heads to the roof. As for the rest, they found Sal's body about a week after we dumped it. And they attributed this weird significance to his being shot in the foot. They figured out it was some kind of Luca Brasi sleeps with the fish's Italian thing. And Mary, Josh, and I just kind of put the whole episode out of our